This is Local 3 News at 6. 30 years ago this weekend, the transformation of downtown Chattanooga began. The Tennessee Aquarium changed our skyline and our city. Tonight, David Carroll takes a look back and into the future of the aquarium. It had been talked about for years, something to jumpstart a city in need of a boost. Its model was the National Aquarium in Baltimore. This is the National Aquarium in Baltimore, Maryland, much like the one proposed for Chattanooga. I'm David Carroll, and I'll have an in-depth look at what an aquarium has done for one city and what a new one could do for ours on Live at 530. And Chattanooga businessman Jack Lupton helped provide the leadership and the funding to make it possible. Construction began in 1988, and on May 1st, 1992. It's 11.35 a.m., Friday morning, May 1st, 1992. The doors will swing open in about five minutes, and this lobby in the Tennessee Aquarium will probably never be this quiet again. The world's largest freshwater aquarium opened its doors to visitors from near and far. Here's your ticket. This is your time ticket. Be back at the front door at 11.45. The $45 million investment has resulted in $5 billion for Chattanooga's economy. What was derided by critics as a big fish tank spurred retail and tourism development that continues today. The aquarium itself doubled in size in 2005 when the Ocean Journey Building opened alongside the original River Journey facility. Aquarium President Keith Sanford, a former banker, remembers opening day. He's still impressed by what he sees 30 years later. I was standing here by this uh, sea lion sculpture this morning and watching the kids gleefully come up and talk about it. Now one kid thought it was a dinosaur and one two thought it was an otter and but the smiles on their faces as you watch them through the aquarium is just heartwarming and it, it I have a whole lot more fun coming to work now than I did at the bank. Folks I get you right here y'all have your tickets. Yes. Thank you guys y'all enjoy. The aquarium may be best known as a tourist attraction. Which set of teeth do you think is enough? But education has always been a key mission. Yeah, so look, you want to fill it? Communications manager Tom Benson has worked here for 16 years. He's still among the students. What I like most about it is I'm surrounded by some of the most brilliant experts, you know, in the world, really. And a lot of these folks at our Conservation Institute, our animal care experts, are leaders in their field. Uh, they're looked up to by their peers and colleagues at other zoos and aquariums. They interact with experts from around the world. And so I feel like I'm learning something new every day. At the 30-year mark, the aquarium has drawn 26 million visitors, boosting the city's tourism take to more than a billion dollars a year, paying off in jobs and quality of life. You've got not only the aquarium here, we've got three new restaurants coming in in the next few months. We've got Steam Logistics putting their headquarters right up here. We've got another restaurant that just opened. We've got uh, an, an exciting possible other entry on an empty piece of land. So this end of downtown is just booming. The exhibits are ever changing and new critters are frequently arriving. It's a shark shark. The Tennessee Aquarium isn't resting on its laurels. 30 incredible years are in the books and plans are in the works to keep it growing and evolving for years to come. And then there's these big opportunities to bring in island life or lemur forest or river otter falls. Um, we're going to be doing our Ridges to Rivers gallery next year, converting Discovery Hall to this new experience. And we're pretty excited about that. And then in between, we have these uh, you know, temporary exhibits like the Wash to Shore exhibit that we're bringing in for our 30th anniversary. David Carroll, Local 3 News. Makes all of us smile. The aquarium will celebrate its 30th anniversary tomorrow with an all day riverfront festival with an early morning walk and bike ride. The Chattanooga River Market at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning and live music starting at 11. Fireworks are scheduled for 9 o'clock tomorrow night, but entertainment out there all day long.